Musicians lose 30% of their earnings. Screwed again. I'm a bit late to this party, or should I call it a wake, but it's a sad tale of musicians getting screwed again, yet again. You may know about a type of music called production music or stock music. It's music that is pre-cleared for all rights. All a filmmaker, TV production company, or indeed YouTuber, needs to do is pay the quoted fee for their particular kind of usage. This compares to commercial music where you'd need to negotiate the price with the publisher. And also consider the moral right, where a composer might not wish his or her work to be used to promote global warming, for instance. Production music, stop music, is pre-cleared for anything. So, where might a composer go to sell his or her music? Well, there are major music libraries that existed since before time began. Internet time, that is. Then there are the internet companies founded much more recently and, in general, easier for a composer to get into. These libraries work mostly on the royalty-free principle. Pay once for one use in one programme or video, then play that video wherever, whenever, with no further payment. This is in contrast to where a composer would get paid every time their work is performed or broadcast. That's the short story anyway. I'm sure commenters will want to add details I've purposely missed out. One of these online libraries, as I shall call them, is Pond5. Highly reputable in every way, I'm sure. Except that they have reduced how much they pay composers. Composers get less. Musicians get less. Isn't this the way of the world? Going back into history, I can't find the detail on this, but there was a court case in the UK where it was established that the publisher couldn't take more than 50% of the money earned by a song or track. So a young upcoming composer or songwriter can't be ripped off for more than 50% of the publishing. As he or she progresses through their career and becomes more and more successful, they will be able to negotiate down the publisher's share. I'd say 70-30, composer-publisher is fair. 50-50 will do. And so Pond 5 used to be 50-50. A composer would get 50% of the sale price of their music. And over multiple sales, this can add up to useful income. But now, Pond 5 has decided that they want a bigger slice of the pie. 65%. So the composer who once received 50% now only receives 35 How are your maths? This sounds like 15% less, and I said 30 It's 15 percentage points less. Suppose a track sold for £100 and the composer got 50%. He or she would get £50. But under the new rules, the composer gets just £35, losing out on 15 15 as a percentage of 50 is 30%. Musicians get screwed again with 30% less income. And don't get me started on subscription libraries. See you soon.